In today's video, I want to break down a full gameplay for you, show you what I'm thinking, why I'm thinking it, and what you can learn from both my successes and my failures in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you're brand new to the channel, um, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button because my channel is all about how to get better at Madden 21 through tips, through tricks, through gameplays like this. And uh, one of the things that I want to say really quickly right off the bat is we upload um, four times every single day on YouTube. So we put a lot of content out there, uh, a lot of material, a lot of tips and tricks videos uh, for you to be able to get better at this game. So I would highly encourage you if you have not already subscribed uh, to go ahead and consider subscribing. Um, if you don't like the channel, you can always just un unsubscribe after. Um, but from what I've been seeing, about 50% of the people that watch my videos um, are actually subscribed. So go ahead and do me a favor and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I have just released my New England Patriots offensive ebook. Now, this offensive ebook is a monster. It covers how to run trips, how to run wild trips, how to run bunch, how to run a slot offset, how to run several different uh, plays within the New England Patriots playbook, which the New England Patriots playbook has been effective in Madden for years. It's been one of the best playbooks um, that I've seen year in and year out. And so I decided to do a deep dive on this playbook this year. And this this guide features over 36 um, formations with over uh, 36 videos right now in the ebook with more on the way. And then also over 300 pages of written material. So you're going to be able to pretty much have every single thing that um, you could possibly know about this playbook. So I'm really, really excited uh, to share that video with you guys and just kind of share what I've been doing and what I've been learning uh, and what you can learn from me um, from the New England Patriots scheme. Now I'm running that New England offense um, in today's video. going to be breaking down some things that I see. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the breakdown. I'm actually in a, a, a kind of a critical a uh, little fourth and one here right off the bat. So I'm going to go to a nice little motion slant to Tyree Kill uh, and pick up the first down. Now what I like to do on the first drive is just kind of throw, um, honestly, a couple different things at my opponent. I'll throw a bunch. I'll throw, uh, so like for example right here, he's got his back, cornerbacks are backed off coverage. So we're just going to kind of test, you know, how does he defend verticals uh, and just see, you know, if we can't get a nice little snap throw. He's been actually running a lot of cover one. So we're just going to take our little check downs and uh, simply move the ball forward. Now again, uh, this is something that we're gonna go back to uh, in a key situation. If he's gonna sit in this cover one all game, uh, you're gonna see that I'm gonna just take you know what the defense gives me, nothing too crazy on the first drive. I just kinda wanna get a feel for what he's gonna do uh, against different formations, against different things that I'm going to throw his way. You know, what does he do against trips? What does he do against bunch? What's he going to do against, um, you know, different things like that? So really what I'm just trying to do is get a feel for what is his coverage strategy uh, going to be here on me. You know, is he going to run hard flats? Is he not? If he, if he Is he going to run cloud flats? And it looks like, honestly, you know, to his credit, he's mixing up his play calling a little bit. Feel like I mix up my play calling pretty good now he's gonna go to a little bit of a base look here on this front and uh, we just wanted to peek at that bubble screen on the left side kind of see what's going on um, sometimes I'll run the ball even if I don't want to throw the bubble screen just because I want to you know just kind of see how he defends it now he showed that he's not gonna really honor the bubble screen so we're gonna take that route to Chad Johnson right there and um, and got, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have uh, went no huddle one more time unfortunately I didn't um, and now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm probably gonna have to run the ball and just get the ball to the quarter um, you know just keep and when I say keep things in front of me on the offensive side of the ball really what I mean by that is what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep the defense from having the momentum so I'm trying to get myself in good down and distances um, you're gonna see that right here going to a little curl route I don't know what Brett Favre did but he basically just threw the ball I don't know why he threw the ball so far over to the right on the or over to the, the left side but it's going to bring up kind of a, a critical little third and three. And for this play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my favorite setup out of Pat Sale. This is just the, you know, you got to have a first down kind of setup that I'm going to right now. Uh, just kind of see, you know, what he's doing on his defensive side. He ends up getting a really good sack on me. And just for you guys, um, I'm in my Super Bowl, so I'm going to kick my field goal. Um but um and just take my three but i probably could have made it. i could i probably could have gotten that first down um 
I think he ended up going Tampa two hard flats on there, and I should have hit my C route. Uh, I, I did a bad job of stepping up in the pocket and kind of stepped right into the rush, unfortunately, and he was able to get pressure on me. Uh, obviously, this guy's a big Steelers fan. The way he plays, it's probably going to be a lot of cover one, cover two uh, style defenses from this. So it'll be interesting to see how this shakes out as far as what he's going to do on the offensive side of the ball. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, um, I'm still running my 46 defensive ebook, which you can pick that up in the description as well. That's my Madden 21 competitors guide. Um, but basically with this defense, what I'm just trying to do is again, um, not just, you know, really what I've learned about Madden, if I've learned anything is you can't really win a game in the first half, but you can certainly lose a game in the first half. And so, you know, really just trying to kind of keep everything in front of me, uh, not do anything too crazy, uh, and just get a feel for what my opponent's trying to do. You know, what is his, what is his priorities? Um, and that's really what I'm after. So I'm rocking this Ed Reed with 99 zone coverage as well. And it looks like we're going to run the ball uh, from strong H wing. We should expect a stretch here. I got this new Pat Watkins. I'm testing him out with that six foot five frame. Um, but what you'll see that I'm going to do on defense is I'm going to do a lot of audibly around. I'll be in and out of, um, you know, nickel normal. I'll be in and out of the three, three, five wide. Um, it looks like he's going to go down to the run again. So we're just going to uh, try to nip this in the butt a little bit here. And going to go to a little drag, a little crossing route. Tries to hit me over the top on the first play. And I think we actually got that user pick. That was a huge play by Dunn. Uh, by Jackson. I like that Jackson because he's able to run with players, right? He's able to really keep up with them uh, because he has that 90, I think he has like 96 speed or 97 speed or something like that. So he's been a really, really good addition uh, to the squad. Now, um, you'll see that I'll come in and out of a lot of different formations in the New England Patriots guide. You don't have to run it that way. You could run this exclusively with one or two formations. I just like it because it gives me a little bit more flexibility, uh, just gives me a little bit more, um, you know, kind of options here. And, and again, you know, kind of on our offensive side of the thing, he's doing a lot of random things. You know, he's running, he's just kind of honestly just changing up his zone coverages. Um Right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go to uh, this little play. I actually really like this play. This is um, Pat's YS yes, coming shortly, slowly becoming one of my favorite plays to run. Uh, we'll just take our check down here. Um, what I've learned about this offense, really quick for you guys, is taking your check downs is it doesn't it's not necessarily fun, but it's really really important, critical to the overarching um, the overarching theme of your offense. If you take your check downs and you take the underneath and just are simple, um, you're going to, you're going to beat a lot more people that way than you are going to be just trying to, you know, threaten them and, and throw one, one play touchdowns against everything here. Uh, that being said, we, I think we are going to catch him uh, with that nice crossing round. I think that was to Chad Johnson on that slot of uh from PA counter go. Now PA counter go is kind of the, the core play to this guide. It's the play that you must make go. It's the, it's, it's basically the Lombardi sweep. Um, I want to show you really quickly this little tactic I like to use on the goal line. What I basically like to do is like to come out an empty ace Patriot and then just kind of check down. Um, if he gives me a good look, I'm going to check down to it. Uh, I think I bad, accidentally passed it. Um, looks like we're going to have to run a play. And we're just going to check, see if we can't get that quick in route. What I like about the empty ace Patriot, I, I kind of feel very comfortable in five wide this year. I feel like five wide gives you a lot of answers. Um, I really like slants from five wide, and I know it sounds like incredibly simple, incredibly novice, but you'll be surprised at how effective like just a simple slant from a five wide because of the spacing this year of the formation because you can't really use or everything this year like you could last year. Um, it, it, if, you, if you put two slants on the field with a couple flats, maybe a hitch, um, it's going to put their user in a bind, especially in the short yardage type stuff. Now, you got to read it correctly. If you don't read it correctly, you're going to be in trouble, and it's very easy to mess up. So it's a very hard read, in my opinion, um, because because if the user does the right thing and maybe jabs right and comes back left and has good zone coverage, you know, and basically takes the slant away with one side on the zone and then kind of forces you into throwing at his user, you know, that's just something you got to be aware of and you got to watch out for. 
Now with him coming out in that strong wing, um, what I'm going to anticipate um, is that we're going to see a lot of runs. Uh, looks like he's going down to deuce close now. Uh, I'm just playing some Mabel coverage here. Just kind of get him start with something simple. Um, I'll start the game in this. Like against runners, I feel like runners don't do that great against Mabel coverages. Uh, the one thing I do need to make sure that I'm doing is I'm dropping these purple zones back. I don't think I've got that. I don't think I set these up in my uh, coaching adjustments. So we'll drop those purple zones back for any deep cross or just anything. Um, and again, we're just honestly playing, you know, relatively simple. Uh, we'll click off there and just that Pat Watkins is, I mean, you can tell, I mean, this guy's just a beast. He's, he's a 6'5 frame. He can cover a lot of field, um, which is really, really good. Go with the nickel blitz too, and then it's going to grab cover for palms. So we can pretty much run a lot of different zones, a lot of different match defenses as well. Um, my base defense this year uh, against cover two. Let's see, there's a drag, there's a drag. And I think we got him again. There's Micah Hyde, 99 zone coverage. Uh, let's get you some more reps with the offense. We'll just go down there. Thought we might have been able to return him, but no big deal. Um, and man, looks like he's going to quit out early. So, um, so yeah, what I hope you saw in this gameplay is I hope you saw the offense is just about being consistent. It's about taking what the defense gives you. Obviously, there's some big plays that could have opened up if this game would have continued on that it would have went to. Um, you know, and the defense is just all about, you know, keeping, in my opinion, keeping the game in front of you. Don't kill yourself in the first play, right? Um, you know, force them, force them to advance, force them to move and all that stuff. But um, that's the, that's the deal. If you guys want to pick up this ebook really quickly before I go, I didn't talk about this in the, in the game because I, it just went so fast. Um, but if you guys want to get this ebook, I'd highly encourage you, first of all, it's in the description. You can get it at the link in the description, but I'd highly encourage you to text me. My number is 812 two one six three six four four and by texting me what I, what that's going to do for you is uh we're going to shoot you a message with a preview formation that we did for the ebook and it's an over a one hour it's over one hour of breakdown on the gun a slot offset formation which is in the new england guide so it kind of gives you a preview and shows you what you're getting yourself into by getting the guide and kind of explains a little bit about it and just talks talks through kind of what it is, how to use it, how to get the most out of it before you go in and decide it's worth it or not. So I'd highly encourage you, and it's completely free to get this video. All you gotta do is just shoot me a text message. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen right now, um, as it is in every video. But just shoot me a text message. Let me know you'd like to get that video, and I'll shoot you a text, and that way you can check out the guide. Um, and if you like it, if you enjoy what you see in that breakdown, and I highly encourage you to go ahead and pick up the full guide. Like I said, it's over 300 pages of material. We break down over 36 formations, and um, we we have over I think over 30 videos right now in the ebook with more on the way. So a lot of really really good stuff. Now, if you want to come by the stream, I'd highly encourage you uh, to come by the stream. Just hang out with the community. We got a lot of really good people. Uh, we talk Madden 20 uh, 24 7 in our Discord, which you can join the link um, in the description. So we talk Madden there all the time, but we also talk Madden live every single night on our YouTube channel uh, right here. Our Discord members always know whenever we go live, so if you're in the Discord, you'll know. Uh, but basically what we'll do is we'll come on, we'll play Madden with our subscribers or with our Discord members, um, and then we also uh, answer your questions live on stream. So thank you so much for your time. I really hope this video was helpful, and I hope you enjoyed watching the gameplay and hope you uh, pick up the guide. I think I think the guide's really good. I really do. And uh, I think it's definitely uh, well worth it. Uh, I think we calculated we put over 60 hours into producing this product. So I think it's really, really something. That doesn't count the time we actually put into the game to have to actually learn, you know, what routes work or whatever. But that's just producing the guide. So um, be sure to check that out. Seriously, uh, I think it's I think it's well worth it. And there's a lot of really, really good stuff that's going to come out of that ebook. So very excited about it. And um, again, just shoot me a text message if you want that free formation. Other than that, if you have a question, Madden question, want to help with on help on defense or anything, just shoot me a text and let me know what's up. Thanks for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern.